Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys and I think it's been a while since I've done a haul so I've collected quite a few stickers that I'm really excited to share with you. Um, the first shop that I've got is Whimsical Cat Studio and this is a shop that's new to me. I discovered her because she was participating in one of those group sales. I can't remember which one off the top of my head but um, she was in that sale, and so I um, was just looking around and found her shop and just love her little character stickers. So the first thing that came with my order is this sheet of um, her characters, and she's got all the different um, hair colors and skin tones on this sheet. And then my order also came with this like really cute little booklet. Oh my gosh, this girl is so cute. Maybe I should have purchased some of her, but I think all the characters I got has like black hair because that looks the most like me. Um, but we've got like a really cute little word search. Thank you for your order. And then I believe, okay, coming soon. So these aren't stickers, just showing you like what's coming, what's going to be released soon. And then um, here's a sheet of, oh, I like this paper. I think this is like, I don't know, vinyl or something, but um, a sheet of samplers right here. Oh my gosh, this one is so funny. This is exactly how I feel um, driving to and from work every day. I just feel like dead inside. But anyways, um, yeah, this super cute little booklet. I love the color of this. It's like so pastel and perfect. So onto my order. The first sheet that I got are these ramen stickers and I believe most of what I purchased are her character stickers. And again, I got the girl with the black hair because that, she looks the most like me. Um, and I just thought these ramens were so cute. She's like slurping up the noodles. I got a sheet of these road trip slash car stickers where she's um, hanging out in the car with her cat. Super cute. Here we've got the workout sheet. Um, she's like on a treadmill doing some yoga and then lifting some weights. So adorable. I got a sheet of the rainy day stickers because this year it has rained a ton where I live, which is quite unusual, but I figured I could get some uses out of this before we hit um, the summer. I got a sheet of these rice bowl stickers, and I think this is so cute. The girl's like really excited about eating her rice bowl, totally me. Um, these are the karaoke stickers, and these are so perfect because I got a karaoke microphone for Christmas for my sister, so occasionally I do like little solo karaoke sessions, which are like the best, and so I can definitely pull these little stickers in. I definitely had to pick up a sheet of beer stickers. You guys know these are some of my most used stickers and then also some coffee. Um, I honestly do not need any more coffee stickers, but these were just so cute and I couldn't pass them up. So I just had to grab them anyway. And her stickers are super affordable, especially during the sale. So I would definitely recommend checking her out. The next shop that I've got here is Hazel Sticker, and this is one of my all-time favorite shops. Um, she has amazing food stickers as well as just other stickers in general. They're all amazing. And um, Ada, who is the shop owner, was super sweet and reached out um, and asked if I wanted to PR for her. Um, so, of course, I agreed because I just absolutely love her stickers and use them all the time. So, if you want to check out her shop, I do have a coupon code linked down below. It's going to be Sherry15 for 15% off of your order of $10 or more. Um, and if you, um, oh, I don't think you have to do anything extra. I think if you use that code, then you also get my little sampler sheet right here. So these were um, the 10 stickers that I had picked out and I tried to choose a variety. So I got some food in there. I got some drinks. I got some um, leisure and um, desserts, coffee, etc., and a cat. Of course, I couldn't pass up the cat sticker. So yeah, if you use my code, you'll get this extra little freebie. Um, she sent me two of them just so I could uh, see what they look like. And then let's see. Um, this is another freebie that came with my order. Um, I love this little like post-it note right here with like the tape. It's so cute. We've got a coffee sticker and then a bunch of different icons. Moving on to my order, I first picked up these taco stickers because they're perfect and I love tacos. It's like my second favorite food. And then um, I also, of course, had to get a sheet of boba stickers. I have been craving boba all the time now. I don't know why. Um, but anyways, these are so cute. So I definitely had to grab a sheet. Some of you might remember me talking about wanting Mahjong stickers because I played Mahjong a lot with my family. I'm actually going to go back and stick some of these stickers into my spreads from before because I did leave like a little space for an icon and these are so perfect to use. I got a sheet of these game night stickers because I love playing games. I don't do it as often as I want to, but um, it's definitely something I enjoy with my friends and these are perfect. It comes with like a board game, um, these little like game pieces, some cards, some dice, Scrabble, and yeah, different sizes. Oops, I think I'm, 
Yeah, there we go. This next sheet is the Mexican food sheet. So it includes the tacos that I got separately because I just love those, but it also has like other types of Mexican food. So you definitely have a huge variety um, of different stickers on this one sheet. Oh my gosh, churros. I love churros. And then here we have a sheet of the pies. I've been really having a sweet tooth lately, which is really strange because I didn't used to crave sweets like ever, but lately I have. So I thought these would come in handy. And then I got some gold foiled stickers. Uh, these are the coffee mug ones. I got a sheet of the groceries and these are so, so shiny. And then I got some silver foiled hearts in these two colorways. I do have these already in gold foil and lately I've been using a lot of silver foil in the winter. So I figured I would pull um, or I would purchase a few sheets of silver foil. So that is everything that I purchased from Hazel Sticker. Again, if you're interested in her shop, don't forget to use my um, PR code link down below. Next up, I have an absolutely gorgeous kit from Hello Petite Paper that I'm really excited to share with you guys. But first, my order came with this little sampler sheet and I love her samplers. I actually find that the stickers she includes are very useful and I do pull them into my planning. So I've got a sidebar tracker and then um, I've got some little icons here. This kit is called Oh Dear, which is so perfect. And Hello Petite Paper, I think the owner's name is Vanessa. She hand draws everything and it's always so beautiful, so feminine and just like perfect. So this one has a combination of like all of my favorite things between the florals, the bows, the hearts, this like wood pattern with the string lights and then this deer who is just like so elegant and beautiful. I immediately fell in love with this as soon as I saw it and I went and purchased it right away. Um, I just could not resist. And then here we have the bottom washi, which is so gorgeous again we've got some washi strips a sidebar tracker and then this monday through sunday box over here we have the heart checklist which are again super pretty i love these two with the wood pattern and the little floral peeking out from the side okay i think i'm skipping a page again yeah here we go um, on this page, we have all the little things and the half boxes. And another thing I love about Hello Petite Paper Kits is that her half boxes are never like the same. She has eight half boxes that are all different in pattern and colors and designs. Um, so I really love that. And we've got a sheet of headers here that match the kit. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then we've got the functional sheet with like the heart check flags. Um, we've got some other types of flags all up at the top. We have circle icons, payday stickers, um, some appointment labels, a really pretty and dainty weekend banner, and then some build do stickers here at the bottom. I do find myself not using payday and build do stickers um, really just because I forget um, about them and I just don't find that very useful for me to track, especially when I'm memory planning. So anyways, yeah, that is the kit that I picked up from Hello Petite Paper. It's so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure it's still available if you're interested. The next shop that I purchased from recently is another one that's new to me. This one is called Sticky Fingers Co. Um, I decided to check out her shop also because she was having some kind of a sale. Um, my order came with this little freebie and it's got some different functional boxes, a laptop, and then some icons over here. She has these really cute um, bow paper clip stickers, which I love to use uh, for marking any kind of meetings and things related to work. So I do love bow paper clips and I think I only picked up a couple sheets, but she included a ton of extra ones in different colorways so um, we've got one that's pink I'm pretty sure this is one I purchased I probably purchased this one too with like the neutral colors um, here is a sheet of the pastels we have a darker sheet here with like some you know darker toned colors uh, we have another sheet of the pink and then oh okay so she sent along two I think of each of the ones that I ordered I probably got these and then she just sent along two sets um, of them. So thank you so much. That was really sweet. And then um, the kit that I got is called Spring Floral and it's so pretty. It's got this really light champagne gold foil and um, I actually really like this light gold color. I think it's so subtle and gorgeous and the full boxes here are just so cute. What really got me was like the dainty um, foiled bows that she includes. Like, I don't know if you can see, but this girl has like a gold foil bow in her hair and I just think that is such a cute little accent and every single box has like a little bit of foiling on this page we have the bottom washi which is two different strips and this top one just has like a bow pattern again super dainty and gorgeous we have little things and washi strips here on the side I'm having a hard time separating stickers today okay over here we have foil date covers again super pretty in this champagne gold we've got the weekend banner that has like gold foiled bows on the end we've got um 
the circle icons, these little cute bubble heart checklists, and some quarter boxes and appointment labels, as well as little icons in the center. And then this last page here has more of the boxes. We've got the third boxes, half boxes, some sidebar stuff, two uh, bow checklists, and then some headers. I believe I picked this up in the mini kit, mini kit format. Um, I think she does offer um, different sized kits and typically mini kits work really well with my planning style. So I do um, just prefer that. And this is a glossy kit. I typically prefer matte, um, but I think, I don't know, actually this one comes in, um, these come in matte. So I know she has matte paper available. Maybe I just decided to go with glossy because of the foil this time. Um, I can't remember, but either way, I really love the quality of her stickers and her foiling. The next shop that I've got here is Libby & Co. And I've been following this shop for a long time, but this is my first time actually purchasing from her. So I was really excited to take the plunge. Um, my order came with this little sampler and it's just got a lot of different like appointment labels or different colored appointment labels. So that's gonna definitely come in handy. And then I purchased a kit from her. She does use a, uh, I think this is a vinyl paper. And um, the only pen that really works with vinyl papers are like the markers. And so I typically will use either this like Taiwanese marking pen that I've got or my Sharpie um, ultra fine point um, marker. So these are the ones that work well on vinyl paper. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, the kit that I got is this really pretty Hello Spring um, kind of green themed kit. I felt like while I love pinks, don't get me wrong, I felt like I was purchasing so many pink kits and I just really wanted a different color scheme because I do like to switch it up every every now and then. Um, so I thought this was so perfect for spring with like the more green and the blues. Um, and yeah, so here we've got all of the full boxes. On this page, we have the half boxes at the top. We have three heart checklists, some appointment labels, a hydrate, a huge hydrate box down here, a work tracker, and then a dinner tracker. So I actually track happy moments and dinner. So I'll be able to use this one and then maybe just put like a label sticker over that and write happy moments. On this page, we have the date covers at the top. We've got some flags. We have these date dots. Um, we've got these little uh, appointment labels, different size heart checklists. We've got habit trackers and a weekend banner, as well as some little text stickers that are in this um, cursive font. On this page, we have the headers over here. We've got these work labels, which I don't actually use because um, I kind of work the same times every day slash it's kind of unpredictable depending on when I can get out of meetings and stuff. Um, and then we have little things, we've got icons, and then I think these are like little square check boxes, which would be really cute to pull in. Um, kind of like a heart checklist, but more simple. I haven't seen those before. On this page, we've got the bottom washi and a ton of functional labels. I love these little scallops. And then also these are definitely really unique with like the way that she designed them. And then the last sheet here is the ombre heart checklist in four different colors. So I really like the format of her kits. I love how it comes with a ton of functional um, stickers and boxes because I do tend to use quite a few of those. And yeah, um, that is the kit that I picked up from Libby and Co. These next stickers were sent to me by Shannon from The Creative Seller. Um, that is the name of her shop. She was so sweet and just asked if I would like to pick out some stuff from her shop to try out. And of course, I'm always happy to try out new shops. Um, I picked up this really cute kit. I'm gonna go over all the stuff that she sent along. Um, this kit is called Llama Love and I just loved it. I think it's so adorable with these little llamas who are like wearing this hat, this little scarf, and then the um, cactus, which I also think is so cute. I think I'm gonna use this over our spring break we are taking a really short trip to San Antonio so um, I don't know why I just felt like this might work really well and yeah if you guys have any recommendations for San Antonio let me know in the comments down below um, just any places to grab food or drinks um, and then anything fun to do this next page here has the date covers. We've got some heart check flags, not really flags because they're kind of a, a rectangle. We have this really cute pink cactus. We've got these half boxes that have like a huge little pom-pom at the top, so cute. And then on this page, we have three heart checklists. We've got bill do stickers, um, this like little pom-pom tassel, some floral deco pieces. And then here, her kits are really different because she includes like different elements that um, aren't typically in kits. So it's really kind of cool. She has like six, no, seven habit trackers, which I don't need seven. I usually just use one, but I can always hold on to the rest. And then these ones are like 
boxes. Yeah, they're not washi strips. They're like an entire box that's this size. Um, these two are cute because they're just text. And then these ones you can use as like a little background. We've got a ton of deco stickers over here. I love this little banner. And also the bird is so cute. On this page, we have seven water trackers. We've got these two washi strips. We have some little notes boxes, some more checklists, and then uh, additional little icons. Oh my gosh, this little chili pepper is so cute. And then this last page has, um, I think this entire thing is a sticker box. So, you know, if there's not much going on that week, you could always put it um, I think, yeah, it's like a double box because it does take up the space of like this entire space on the Erin Condren. So again, if you don't have much going on during part of the week, this would be a good alternative to kind of take up some space. And then we've got eight half boxes um, with little designs around it. So yeah, lots of stickers to work with. And again, her format is definitely very different. Um, I'm super excited to try this out. I think it's always fun to use kits that have different types of stickers because um, it kind of challenges you to kind of work outside of your comfort zone so anyways that's the kit that i chose and then we've got a lot of these little sticker sheets so she sent along a few of these like longer strips and i think these are just um these are ten thousand step stickers we've got birthday trackers some coffee cups dentist appointment tracker and then oh dentist and doctor appointment trackers and then we have these like this week habit trackers and it includes four on each of the boxes here is her business card, just wanna share that with you. And then uh, she sent along, I think three of these little character sheets. So we've got this one, which is wearing um, this little like onesie and it's so cute holding like a bunny. This one is the birthday sheet. Oh my gosh, this little banner is so adorable. Wow, I feel like I could use an entire sheet of that. And then the bath stickers, which is so cute. She's coming out of the bath, got her robe on, all that good stuff. Oh, and one more. This is the bad day sheet, it looks like, and yeah, this little character is just, you know, not having the best time. She's like crying and there's like a rain cloud behind her, etc. And then these were the other stickers that I did pick out. Um, so I like these little planner stickers. I think they're so cute. And it says planning time on the bottom. And then I really needed just some functional labels. I feel like I sometimes don't have like functional boxes that I could pull in when I don't have enough in a mini kit. And so I, put, I picked up a sheet of these um, like cooler color bubble scallop labels. And then I also picked these up in the warmer color variety as well. And then I also got a page of these uh, flags, which are perfect for covering the flags on the Erin Condren. Sometimes I can't find ones to cover that. So I figured these would really come in handy. Um, and these sheets are really large. So you get quite a lot of stickers in one sheet, which is awesome. And yeah, so that is everything that was sent to me by Shannon from The Creative Seller. Thank you, Shannon, so much for your generosity and um, for all your cute stickers. The last thing that I want to share with you guys in this haul is my new bullet journal and um, I have my Erin Condren behind it for sizing reference. This is a B6 size and so as you can see it's quite a bit smaller than my Erin Condren but it's actually perfect for what I was looking for and um, I did not realize this but B6 journals are so hard to find. There's a ton in the A5 size which I think is like the standard journal but I didn't want something so big so I really wanted this size and I think I swear there was like only three journals that were this size. And after doing some research into it, I feel like this one was the best for me. Um, this is from a company called Scribbles That Matter. And I picked this up from Amazon. I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out if you want. The only downside is that the only color this came with in this size was this bright red. And I'm not a fan of red. It's just not my favorite unless it's Christmas. Um, so I was really disappointed and that was actually what made me consider this for so long because I was like, can I deal with the red? But I decided that I would just go for it and then I could cover it up with like scrapbook paper. I can make like a little book cover or something um, just to change it up. So anyways, my vision for this journal is actually not to use it as a bullet journal per se. Um, I was really looking for a travel journal. I've been wanting to bring something with me when I travel and just jot down things that really um, stand out to me or things that I'm enjoying and also do like memory journaling when I come home. And so um, I was just looking for something that I could take on the go, which is why I feel like this size is really perfect and yeah I've just been kind of wanting to do that lately um so we'll see how it goes I don't know if it'll actually work out or if I'll enjoy the process but I guess you never know until you try it out so anyways this journal comes with this elastic strap 
And then um, it does come with a pen loop. I've got my Paper Make Ink Joy Gel pen already clasped in there. It's my favorite pen, as you guys probably already know. And then um, the first page here is just, you know, uh, you just put your name. And I, as you can see, already did a little um, hand lettering for that. And then the journal does come with quite a few like key and index pages. Um, I'll probably use this to separate or to like note the different places that I travel to. Um, so I could be like, my next trip coming up is San Antonio. So I could put like San Antonio and then starts on page one or whatever, and then just kind of list them as I go along. And then um, on here is where we actually start it. I don't know if you can see it, let's see. But it is a dot grid, um, very light dots. And I really like that. Um, so yeah. It does come with a couple of these little bookmarks so you can track where, where you are. And then at the very end, what I really liked about this is the pen test page. So I do always worry about my pen bleeding or um, ghosting, I think is what it's called when it shows on the other side. So here are all the pens that I tried out. Um, this little one here was supposed to be like another Sharpie pen, but it ran out of ink. So I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna use it anyway. And um, yeah, so Paper May Ink Joy is my favorite, of course, at the top, and then all the way down to my Tombow. I think it's called the Dual Brush Pen. Um, so yeah, and then on the back, you can see how much of it bleeds or ghosts. The only one that actually bled through was the Sharpie Ultra Fine, which is not surprising because that's like a marker, but everything else is fine. There is some ghosting, but pretty light um, compared to some of the other options that were out there. This one was like the best one. And then I also really love this. Um, this page is, says mindfulness at the top and it says flip through this journal from the first page to the last. See all the scribbles and mirror to your past. What have you learned? How have you grown? Reflect and ponder when you are alone. So I don't know how long it'll take me to fill this up if I'm only journaling when I travel, but um, if I ever finish it, then I could you know, just do a little reflection at the end. But that is the plan. Um, if I ever do feel like journaling when I'm not traveling, I would totally do it as well. But I don't want to make myself feel obligated because a lot of times that is what makes it not fun for me. Um, so yeah, I'll, we'll see how this goes. It's just kind of something fun I thought I would try. So anyways, that is it for today's haul. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. And I've got lots of goodies still on the way. So I'm kind of recording this as I go along and as I collect all the items. But this will be at the end of the haul. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.